We've got some great guests here in the KT studio with us from the Lexington Medical Society. We want to welcome Dr. Robert Graniker, as well as Dr. Julia Stevens and Dr. Ken Weaver, who are all part of this great medical society. And Dr. Graniker, you're the president of the Lexington Medical Society. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you all do. You've, you've uh, been with us before, but tell us again the many things you all do. Well, first of all, this is the, one of the oldest medical societies in the United States, started in 1799. And we represent uh, physicians in uh, Fayette County, Metropolitan Fayette County, who are members of the society. And our mission is to represent them, and our vision is to, to be there for them, uh, for any needs they might have in their professional life, and to help them grow in medicine and deal with the stresses of medicine. Mm -hmm. And you all have uh, been uh, phone volunteers here with KET and our telephone for many, many years. Tell me a bit about why you all support KET. Well, it's, uh, first of all, it's our major public uh, television system for this region of the state, and it interlocks with uh, all kinds of areas out in the state. It, it, we're very supportive of it because of your excellent programming, particularly your, your medical-based um, things that you show and you're able to relate to people with in the, in the Commonwealth, and, which is part of our mission, but you do it in such a professional and educated manner that we, we very much want to support continuation of that. And really that educational programming that, that, as we say, brings learning to life and brings science to life and really a lot of help with uh, understanding health issues and, and health policy as well. Yes. Well, And you all have also, uh, as great supporters of KET, uh, Dr. Stevens, your father-in-law uh, for many years was a great supporter of KET. Yes, um, I think this was one of his favorite um, fundraising processes. I was speaking with someone tonight that said that um, unfortunately, he passed away about a month ago, but he was the first one to sign up for tonight. He loved to be involved with KET. They, he and his wife, Dr. Uh, Dr. Stevens and his wife, Sally, have been uh, supporters uh, probably since the inception of KET would be, would be my, um, my guess. And uh, I'm honored to be here just to recognize uh, his support for KET over the years. It's a, a great evening, I think, as well. To We see a few photos of him there. Um, from when he was, was in the studio recently um, on the pledge set. Uh, and tonight we honor uh, Dr. David Stevens and, and his great um, support of KET as well. Um, can you tell us a bit, what, what are the programs that, that you all enjoy? Uh, Dr. Weaver, what, what, what's the PBS best part News of KET? PBS Newshour is excellent, of course. I uh, love Austin City Limits. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the British Mysteries, I think, are, are quite entertaining. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we so appreciate your all support and this great, uh, every year, a full phone bank, lots of folks coming in, and great support for KET. So we hope that everyone out there, you will give us a call right now, make that donation to support KET, um, just as our friends from the Lexington Medical Society are here and, and dedicating their efforts and their energy. We want to hear from you. Tim, I want to start the conversation. Yes, sir. Uh, in Dr. Stevens' name, KET has a generous $500 contribution to start us off. And so we hope all of those out in the audience will That's take right. part in this tonight. An excellent challenge and uh, to a great man and, and in his memory tonight. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Give us a call right now, 1-800-866-0366. We want to hear from you.